So we are back with Shadowverse, um, since it is the spooky month, um, I'm going to be going through a more spooky, like, chapter, um, so like right here we got a tell of the nine tells, we got, um, Dragon Boy, we got Kegro, and we got Alexod, um, So let's let's just go through through this one because this one's all spooky and this one's great. The ones who'll take down the Lord of Darkness and seize the throne will be us, the werewolves. You really think dogs can rule? Vilsar belongs to us. Ha! Each and every one of you is nothing but prey for the dragon newts. You sure can bark, but you can't bite. The darkness of night is only the beginning. The rivers of blood, the scent of iron in the air. Velsar, its history is one of endless war, an ocean of tears, and landfills of decapitated heads. A world where justice and ideals extinguish. Oh. How beautiful. Bones seized and broken. Bodies mutilated, fur stripped. Claws screeching, sliced and shattered. Each claims justice, but tyranny reigns supreme. Truly a delight. Truly a thrill. The true essence of life, don't you think? I do not understand. You truly lack elegance, like a blade disdain of death, unknowing the beauty of battle. Kagero, truly a fitting name. You are not but a mirage, devoid of feeling, of passion. The same can be said for yours, Kikage. You are the dark side of the moon the beauty and mystery. Your words are not yet cruel. The reason why you are weak. So your will has not changed. We must decide who is correct. We must commit. A sword never unsheathed is but a stick. <sighs> a drawn sword is but cold steel. Neither good nor evil. Your presence isn't needed here. Vanish. Your defeat is fate. For your duty forgotten. And the path you walk gone astray. Thus, you must fall! <laughs> How strange. I feel lightheaded. Moreover... For what reason am I surrounded? We've got you now, you indiscriminate killer! How dare you murder our kin for no good reason! You disgust me! Give yourself up and accept your punishment! Murder? The man pours through his memories, searching for an answer. His attire is that of a swordsman, and a blade rests upon his side. Perhaps there be some possibility for the Okai's claim. We found five bodies with slashed backs and torsos! You're the only one around here with a blade capable of these acts. You're as good as guilty. There's no question. I kill. He focused on the sensations in his hands, hoping his body remembers what his mind does not. My apologies. I cannot remember. What? You can't remember! Is that your plan? To feign innocence? The serpent's eyes bordered by long lashes, sorrowful No, close. I truly cannot remember. Not a single thing. I seem to not have memories. Therefore, I remember nothing. The hell? Is this some sick game for you? 
club rises pointing forward towards the heavens before <laughs> speedily down towards the man. The club delivers a blow of monstrous strength, one enough to shatter boulders. That jog your memory well enough? Better luck in your next life, you monster. The, the creature's beak freezes motion in disbelief of what it sees. It can't be. What the hell? I thank you for your kindness. However, it appears that blow did not clear the fog in my head. You, you should be pulverized. How the hell are you not dead? What kind of monster are we up against? Mercy tempered your last blow. But you may try again with all your strength. With pleasure! It's your funeral, punk! Get him, boys! Yeah! You picked the wrong crowd to mess with! Surround him! Yokai called out from the shadows. They encircled their solitary target, unleashed the vortex of devastating effects. Only a gruesome fate <laughs> Or so would expect. Ah, I can't! Go on! When insolent drops out, then a second, the violent vortex soon subsides a summer breeze. Dejected words of defeat can be heard from above the den, but they come from not the attacked, but from the attackers themselves. After dozens upon dozens of fruitless strikes, their bodies are exhausted. Just what the hell are you? One by one, the yokai lower their weapons, shuddering and muttering as they pull back. What am I, you ask? The fog in my head has cleared to some degree. To answer your question. You truly lack elegance. Like a blade disdain of death. Unknowing the beauty of battle. Kagero, truly a fitting name. You are not but a mirage. Devoid of feeling. Of passion. My name is likely Kagero. Kagero, you say? Strange name. What kind of infuriating trick did you use? We practically hit you a dozen times over. A fair point. However, it is truth that I am still standing. If hits and blows cannot calm your fury, perhaps a walk might do. My apologies for any inconvenience caused. What the hell are you talking about? You think this is something you can just walk away from? Please, let me through. Looks like you're not getting it. No one's letting you off the hook, murderer. If pleads of mercy worked, then Velsar wouldn't be a bloodbath. Either you put up a fight or you shut up and die. You might be tough, but you don't impress us. How about we tie him up and sink him into the depths? A pity. With an expression of anguish and sigh of the deepest sorrow, imagine he draws the sword. The blade shines and glistens as if it is brimming with tears. <coughs> the yokai shiver at the eerie aura now laid upon before them. However, their pale fear pales in comparison that of the one wielding the rushing missing <sighs> blade. Despite the calm he displayed against the previous onslaught, his face now wears an expression of terror. <laughs> Look at him shaking in his pants. He's just scared of us. Frightened, yes. I do not wish to kill. However, if you choose to impede my path, I will have no choice but to exercise my abilities. <sighs> there is no other way. There is no retreat, but... No, there is, but the crossing of swords carved these words into his heart, releasing it, shackles shredding his face. <laughs> he swings into a stance, accompanied by a shout of resolve. No longer could anyone ridicule the man. Awoken under the shroud of night, surrounded by the roar of battle, all else remains uncertain. I may have forgotten since, but I cannot fall here. I shall regain my memory. And if any souls fell by my hand, I will offer you my neck. Enough of this tedious chatter! Give us your neck now! Servant so swiftly swings his blade, driving his... diving it into his opponent's ottoman, not bisecting the body, but folding it in half instead. No! 
The swing of his blade concludes by flinging his opponent far off the horizon. It's the moment that the Yokai family, family understand that this seemingly meek man before then is truly a powerful swordsman. If words cannot sway you, then my blade will, for I walk the righteous path. Let us battle. I'm sorry. As the blade returns to its resting place, the remaining yokai collapse onto the ground, and the eyes that had once glared Kagura's way are now dull. But every fallen figure still breathes, life still remains in their bodies. The man let out a sigh of relief. For him, this bottle has confirmed three things. One, the sword by his side is no ornament. Two, he disdained the very active combat. And the spark born of conflict sheds light upon fragments of the third. Faint memories of war, a duel, and the man who called himself Kagero. Skikake. Just muttering the name causes the swordsman's chest to ache as if his heart were being pierced by I a knife. I must find him. Then I. His words trail off as he halts himself. His movement had been impulse, reasons unknown. And yet, he knows one thing for certain. All the answers he seeks lie within that man, Tsusage. Once more, he begins to journey forward, stepping gently on the earth as if walking on thin wires. He traces his memory, he does. But his quest ends as abruptly as it began. <coughs> what alerts him is neither intuition or nor instinct, but rather something more tangible, his sense of smell. The scent engulf him, tasting of sweat, raw iron. It is the smell of blood. You look troubled. Are you lost? You are. Or perhaps you've lost something. Shall I lend a hand? A tongue colored deep red like fresh and a smile warped like the consent of the moon. Skikake. Why the long face? Surprised that we'd meet so soon? Do not think it a mere coincidence, Kakero. Just as you are seeking me, I have been seeking you. As I thought. You know about me. Sure I do. I know everything about you. You're a monster. One that strikes down innocent passers-by. <clears throat> the yokai with the whom he had fought just moments ago had made the same accusation. But for some reason, this man's words sting much more painfully, as if meant to pride Kakuro's composure. But this battlefield losing one's calm means losing Having one's fun life. spacing out? With a clink of metal, Susage dashes forward and bringing his blade down on his target. Yokai had been vi uh, <laughs> Yokai had been vicious and many, but y Kaguro had withstood their attacks with little effort. This opponent, however, Kaguro would have no choice but to carefully fend against. For Kaguro knows if he is stricken down by Suzage, Suzage. Blade, he will never rise again. Unfortunate! I had hoped we'd settle the score at long last. But same as ever, you understand nothing about yourself. How soft, how kind, how depressing to see. 
While the man's origins are still a mystery, the blade of his the dance of his blade is nothing but beauty, a waltz of elegant arcs and graceful swings, not even a hint of waver in the sword path through Calm the Calm as always, I see. Sasaki's motions are as perfect as the performance. The dance seemingly better suited for a stage than a battlefield, and yet the lethality of his blade is clear. I've lost my memories. You what? Please tell me. Who am I? Uh huh. Is that so? <clears throat> Guess I've got them. What are you? What do I mean? Oh, you. Oh, absolutely agitating! Why must you speak through violence? I do not wish to fight. <laughs> you don't wish to fight? Even without memories, even without a clue about yourself, you continue to spout out the same nonsense! Whatever do you mean, you and I... Words are unnecessary. All we need is a clash of metal, sword against sword. <sighs> Forever the coward. Forever the fool. Just being around you pains me. But battle is inevitable. The first raindrop has already fallen. Soon, a storm will follow. Kagura can see the see in the reflection of Sasage's eyes. The lives of many be victims in the blood of the living. Glimpses of the man's next targets. The meaning of it is very clear. Sasage must be stopped, and there is no other way. There is no retreat. There is no. There is but the crossing of swords. No choice. I shall cut you down. Cut me down? What a joke! Allow me to remind you of one important fact. You will never prevail against me. Blade against blade, they clash and deflect, only to collide and withdraw again. Their skills are evenly matched, however, in battle, the slightest sensation can be the Sluggish fool! Are you still half asleep? Focus! Unleash yourself! Kakura's muscles bulge, building up the enormous strength hiding within its... This blade rips through the air, it... Edge draws ever closer to your target. <laughs> Just a single step, and within the strike seems to listen to hit. Mist this is the target. Its energy dissipating into the How inelegant! I can't stand looking at you. <laughs> Do you know? Not having the burdens of your past can be quite freeing. I was the same after all. Did you lose your past as well? Oh, yes. Got them back soon after making a few corpses, though. <sighs> we found five bodies with slashed backs and torsos! You're the only one around here with the blade capable of these acts. You're as good as guilty. That was you. Depends on who you ask, doesn't it? <sighs> you don't get it? Well, I suppose you wouldn't! <sighs> This is pointless. You... What are you to me? Are you my enemy? What am I? What a stale question. <clears throat> I considered finishing you off and ending everything, but this has been far more... boring than I had hoped. I'd get no satisfaction from killing you as you are now. So go and get your memories. I do not know how. No problem. I have the perfect medicine for shaking you out of your pathetic days. It shattered your body and your will once before. Now perhaps, it can restore some motivation in you. Survive and come find me. For my sword art is your purpose, your goal, and your gravestone. <sighs> Slowly, Satake draws back his sword and his body lowers, swaying. Art of decay. In the next moment, his form is his very existence disappears from the world lost. A seemingly impossible phenomenon, and for a moment, Kagura, paralyzed from disbelief, forgets he is in the midst of the life or death Fool. battle. Uh. 
<laughs> the method used is unknown to him, but this is no illusion. Kakuro, back, Ottoman, simultaneously slashed in no more than an instant. He collapses into the ground. <sighs> what a waste of time. Upon shifting his weapon, the victor kicks over his unconscious victim. Twice I have shown you this technique, but for as long as you remain the way you are, it doesn't matter if it's the hundredth time, you will not prevail. Such a shame. Here I thought we might finally duel to the death. I can only wait so long. Next time, you'd better make sure those abilities blossom. Sasuke quietly slips into the darkness, leaving only the silence of the night behind him. The resulting tranquility almost seems to insist that the battle just shortly or had never taken place as if it were nothing but a dream. However, the two scars which Kagura now bears run deep into his body and soul, evidence of defeat and proof of the impossible technique. Art of Decay Unconsciously, Kagura drifts away in a realm of haze and within the darkness. He hears a voice, forbidden words, a torment curse, slaughter. No. He squeezes his eyes shut as tight as he can and brings his hand to his ears, trying to block out the no. voice. No, I will not. His body shakes, absolutely terrified and shivering with fright. Whatever could be so horrifying, the phantoms take form in his mind. Kill them. Slaughter. Slaughter them. It's what you were created for. It's your purpose. Stop. Please. Kill. Stop. Slaughter. Stop it. Kill, kill, kill. Stop it. <sighs> Kagura awakens, the sensation of sweat rolling down his face plants him firmly back in reality. He gets up, but is greeted with sowing pain throughout his back. He touches his stomach and finds a gash cut straight across. The arm which he moved is also throbbing in pain. He knows it is burning like it had been dipped in fire. Kagura probes his faint memories, finding only vestige at first, but soon enough the vivid memories of his defeat rushes back into his mind. Fool. <laughs> Two strikes instantaneously speed, striking front and back. Kagura could neither read nor understand the technique movements. He held back. It shattered your body and your will once before. Now perhaps it can restore some motivation in you. Survive and come find me. For my sword art is your purpose, your goal. Art of Decay. As he mutters that loathsome title, his legs continue to carry him. It is not long before Kagura comes across the blood drifting into the air, undeniably. But Kagura understands that even if he was give chase, find his foe once more, he would only suffer the same defeat. He is to speak to Sakage in order to learn of his past. He must first find a way to stand up against the formidable abilities, yet despite all reason and logic, he cannot ignore the trail of blood. For if he does not take action, more lives will be lost. Why? A rustling noise. <sighs> Unconcerned, Kagro remains still. He drew from the moment they made a noise that Wherever they may be, they were no match for him. I can smell it. It must be you. We'll make you pay. Mel Dragon is powerful, brawny, 
He wrinkled their brows, sprouting flames in their barely contained anger. Any normal person would gravel before them in tears. But of course, the man before them is anything but May ordinary. May I have a moment of your time, gentlemen? Huh? That's the name, Skikage. Let me start again. Have you seen a man carrying a sword like mine? What are you talking about? Surely if anyone knows anything about those incidents, it'd be you. You did the same to me. I stood no chance against him. You all must avoid him at all cost. Only death awaits those who encounter him. I wish for you to convey this to as many people as possible. What are you talking about? Who cares? Let's shut him up. <sighs> Sorry, we don't have any time for nonsense. This isn't a game, you know. You killed our clan members! We want vengeance! <sighs> he breathes out. <laughs> Except that he must draw his blade. You leave me no choice, for I must hurry on. More lives are slain as we speak. The sword streaming through his mind as if it is resetting terramental subtrust. There's no other way, there's no retreat. But For I have walked the righteous path. Let us battle. Huh? Please, stand down. And I ask you, spread this message. Avoid the man carrying a sword. Shut your mouth! What the hell are you? The yokai, the werewolves? You kill all without discrimination. Because of you, everyone's pissed off. <sighs> so, you enjoy killing, is that it? You won't last long here in Velsar. You may not believe me. However, the murders of your kind is not my doing. The man you seek is Kikage. I am also in pursuit of him. I do not wish to see any more people fall victim to his blade. However, if cutting you down and forcing my way through ensures the lives of many more, no! <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but I'll need you to stop right there. These are my clan members. Grace, sir! I apologize. This jerk just... Enough. Yes, yes, sir! <sighs> you didn't chase after them. Thank you. I did not want to hurt them. You struck to kill, while my claws are still numb. There was no other choice I could have taken. So I overheard what you had to say, and you claim that you weren't involved in the incidents. That is true. It's hard to believe you when you are the only one around these parts with that strange attire and sword. Precisely why I had no other choice but to draw my sword. I understand it may be illogical. However, it is the truth. Hmm. Yes. It doesn't seem like you're lying. You will believe me? Well, I don't know if I'd go that far. You do reek of blood, you know. <sighs> That's how we all tracked you down. We followed the stench. We've got you now, you indiscriminate killer! How dare you murder our kin for no good reason! Just as you are seeking me, I have been seeking you. I can smell it. It must be you. But as long as there is no solid proof, I can't pass judgment on you. That wouldn't be justice. Innocent until proven guilty, as they say. You have my gratitude. Please pardon me. It appears you are well trusted about here. Would you happen to know the details? About what? About the murders, techniques used, or the intention. I've seen the bodies. It was a gruesome sight. Horizontal lines carved into their back and chest. And that's not all. I even saw bodies missing their arm. Their arm? Indeed. Left or right. But always one arm. Hmm. Kagro unconsciously rubs his right arm. The ache of the faint pain still left behind severs his evidence. Those bodies were cut while they were still alive from both the front and behind. It had to have used magic. There's no other explanation. Oh, and there's 
One more thing. It isn't directly related to the bodies. And I can't say that I really understand it. I would like to hear it. The corpses were stretched out on flagstone. The stones nearest them had strange markings etched into them. Not sure if the information will prove useful to you, but there it is. Thank you. That may have provided me some clues. No need to thank me. I still haven't cleared you from all suspicion. Take care of it before the day's through. And if you fail to do this, it doesn't matter if you're telling the truth or not. I will crush you. I understand. I promise you. Good. And what do you intend to do about him? About this... Skikage? What to do? What to... That isn't a very good answer. Oh well. Just do what you have to do. Skikage. Kagero. Everything is still vague, but a ray of light has emerged. Or did the decay, its secret lies within the severed arms. Good. And what do you intend to do about him? About what to do? What to do? Kagero recalls something about his re relationship with Tsukage. They have fought in crosswords countless times throughout his b head. Not remember, but his body does. They cross blades. They are existed a fear. Tsukage is strong, cruel, and capable of unspeakable um, acts. But despite that, Kagero stood against him I again get it and again. Now. I want to stop Skikage. <sighs> Alright, and then uh, next time, we'll uh, continue this story. Look, there's only two left, so we'll find out what happens next time. And I hope that y'all have a wonderful day.